Yeah, so... We're looking over the side of the road. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, let them do their thing. Different types of signs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so... Um, uh, and this is a spot that mountain lions regularly mark. This is why I came looking up here for, for this. Um, and I can talk a little... We'll go up the trail a little ways and I can talk some more about what the features are that they're looking for. But, um... Essentially, you have a little depression and then a little mound. And like I said, this one's old. It's definitely a mountain landscape, but um, when they're fresher and bigger, they're a bit more obvious than this, but still subtle. I've showed a lot of people mountain landscapes and like I always have to keep them from stepping on them before you talk about it. But once you get the pattern and know what to look for and where, they start popping out a bit more. Um, and they're marking with their hind feet uh, so similar to how a dog marks and it scratches, except uh, it's kind of like a cat's version of that, which is far more tidy, right? Right, so instead of like, wah, they, uh, they, this animal would have been standing here, its head would have been over here, and it would have just kind of methodically pawed the ground with its, its two hind feet. So they're typically about two paws width wide, and they tend to be a little bit boxier. Sometimes they're wider than long, sometimes they're as wide as long and then there's a little mound and they're typically along a travel route that mountain lions like to use um, and often under a tree with low hanging branches along one of those travel routes so this is a little atypical like it doesn't you know it's kind of a little rough for that but i'll show you another spot where they often mark maybe there's another mark there that's more typical <laughs> And the males do it more than the females. They urinate in it? They could. They don't always. Sometimes it's just the, the marks. And the, sometimes you'll see them, like, just they'll do one every so often as they're traveling. And sometimes you'll find a spot where you'll find, like, three or four or five of them all together. And that's a communal marking spot. And um, you'll, you may have more than one animal marking there. And it's a point of communication, again, for... So when you said cats. it's old, how old would these be? Two years, three years? No, uh, I mean, they could last a year probably, but I was just saying, you know, however, just this recent needles have fallen on it. I mean, months and months old. They won't, like if a dog pees on the other dog's pee, right? Like they won't put a scrape so over another scrape. Well, they could, you could have multiple animals, animals marking in the same spot. Yeah. Do you ever think it's sorted out? Yeah, so I was just pointing out. Two old guys, they're fine. Okay. Thanks for the community service there. I was just pointing out, and hopefully we'll see a better one like that's a little fresher, but this is a mountain lion scrape marking oh. spot. And uh, somebody want to explain how they do it since you just got the rundown? Test your knowledge. <laughs> use their back legs to tidy, you know, push it's stuff. careful, out, tidy motion. Like whatever boxy or uh, Very good. Very good. There you go. So 